Hello everybody, this is Linda and Joe, and I just want to ask y'all what brought you out here to BDS today. This is the first time I've ever been to Texas, and actually it was my son Joseph who was instrumental in giving me this experience of, we came from North Carolina yesterday and arrived here, and I can't remember the name of this town, but in all the areas that we traveled through from Raleigh, North Carolina, up until we reached this town, the first time I noticed the difference when we arrived in this town was when I went into a gas store because I wanted to get something from the store, and it was different. I, there was peace, it was clean, it smelled good, the people were kind. I have not experienced that in really a long time, but particularly in, in our travel to yesterday and today. And then I went to the Dollar General here. And it was the same thing. And I go, this is really a special town. Linda, um, how was it to hear your son confess his sins and, and to get delivered? And to get his deliverance? How did you feel about that? Great. Okay. And this is why we are here in this home in this town. It was my son who found Chris Lasala and Josh? Josh, yeah, Josh Cohen. Josh Cohen? I had never heard of them. I'd never heard of this town. Joe had found them, and today he was delivered, and I saw it. I understand why this town is special. It's unique. It's, I said, this is paradise. This town. Like none other that I've experienced. And it is because of this, these people who are doing tremendous work for God, which I saw today in the deliverance of my son. And I had no idea that he had been into these drugs. Wow. And I witnessed the deliverance. And I'm also in process of overcoming major strongholds in my own self. We, we understand now as Christians that we have an enemy that is not always talked about in churches today. And we see that, yeah, deliverance needs to be practiced. Deliverance and is people, great. People we need, need to know it. About these things. People need Definitely. to know about these things. Definitely. Of course. People need to know that we need deliverance. There's so many. There's something in the Bible that's just not. It's just not taught. Jesus not demonstrated deliverance. Especially in these end times, you know, we uh, the the state of the world has said it 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 would become as it was in the days of Noah. It is the days of Noah. It is. Today, and we see, and you know, so many, you know, so many instances that. For instance, that I, we looked at before, when people go out on the street evangelizing, and we see how prevalent, you know, demonic oppression and demonic possession is out there. And, and deception is. Deception, yeah, yeah, it's out there. And there are so many snares that Satan lays for so many people out there in the world. And this is the real thing right here. And we have we. Jeff we, Cohen, Jeff, and Chris Asala are genuine. They're the real. Correct. So, if anybody has any doubts... God, God has called... Chris Lasala, we, we both watched his testimony, and God has called him out for a reason. And yes, I think it's, it's them being here that's making the difference in this town. That's why it's unique. That's why it's special. And I hope that you realize that. This is, I, wish, I want to live here. What changes have you seen in your son since his deliverance? He's now going to help me to quit arguing with the Bible and the areas where I 
struggle with it. Now he's going to be the one to help me to understand the truth of things in the Bible that I struggle with so that I am no longer deceived. And there's well, many, many ways to be deceived. Well, I, I'll tell you what's happened to me is that my mind is no longer clouded by, by voices, by deceiving voices, by condemning voices. My body is no longer being held down. I no longer feel like there's, my body is full of lead. I no longer feel things floating around and crawling around inside of me. I no longer hear my, my thoughts being distorted every time I'm trying to think of something or say something. I don't and, feel these, these things inside of me. Just and and these, these changes that have happened in my son and myself has just happened in the past two or three hours since we've been here. We have both been tremendously helped through these men. And I want you to know that this is genuine. I just, please. Thank you, Linda, and thank you, Joe. And we're happy to see that you've been blessed, you know. We appreciate you for coming out. Thank, and thank you. you. Thank you.